Any visitors to Keeling knows how hard it can be to find the room they're looking for. However, it starts to make more sense when you consider the number of changes Keeling has gone through since its reopening in 1986. When I first started, it was a little bit confusing, so it took a while to, to get used to finding the school the, the class numbers. In addition to redistributing the space more than 10 years ago, Keeling added classrooms and upgraded libraries, what is today 6th grade wing. Part of that remodel turned the existing library into classrooms, 234, 235, and 236, rooms that further confused visitors and students. I don't like it because like when I first got here like as a 6th grader, like a f like first day, first couple weeks, like I did, I was so confused, so like I feel like it's so like unorganized and they should change it. One effort the school has made to improve the halls and keep foot traffic organized <laughs> was the addition of hallway color identification for each classroom to help keep students close by even when they need to use the restroom or get water. I think the biggest problem is that kids may not know which bathroom corresponds to which colored hallway. The system works in theory, but some students feel that these hallway distinctions need to be made more clear for it, for it to work as well as it intended. Half the time I don't know what hallway I'm in. If it's like a red hallway, you should like put a red tape on somewhere and um, to know that it's like a red hallway. Hallway behavior is a key concern because it relates to student safety. When students do not use appropriate behaviors like going directly to class or walking on the right, the school may need to step in and help, like recently when teachers needed to walk students to and from lunches. Um, look, going forward, we're hoping maybe we might have to add a lunch in order to thin out the cafeteria and then have movement. Other than that, then that's going to stay the same. But the walking to and from, we're hoping to phase that out um, as students' behavior changes. This has been Hamid Zajran reporting for KBTV.